Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our Tuesday evening devotion. My name is Neil Reyes. I'm one of the campus missionaries here in Victory, Quezon Avenue. You know, as we watch or as we um, being part of this Tuesday evening devotion, I hope that all is well with all of you. All right, so as we start, let me ask this question for all of you. Have you ever made a promise to someone or someone made a promise to you? Ano po ang ating response? Right? Or I will, uh, have you ever lost your faith to something or someone or with God? But there's a lot of things that are happening around us, problems, trials, circumstances, a situation that is not good enough for each and every one of you. We're losing relationship. I mean, I promise to you that, you know, ikaw ang panghabang buhay ko. And then, little did we know, parang nalus yung ano, yung, yung, yung pagiging faithfulness niya. Diba? And you are about to receive promotion in your workplace, and something happened. And then you are not being promoted. Parang ang sakit, no? Ano kayong mararamdaman natin? Or you're about to reconcile your relationship with your husband or with your wife. But nalulus yung faith mo na wala na to, hindi na to mabubuo. You are in a situation that seems like you are on the dead end. Wala nang pag-asa to. Ayoko na. Akala ko may promise sa akin. Akala ko may confidence ako to do it. But parang nawawala na. Or you are locked with a sin that you can unchain. Or we lose our faith believing that your relative, your family, your office mate, your classmate, or even your best friend will be saved or have relationship with Christ. Na lulus na yon, parang pasasay mo na wala na. Binigay ko ng lahat pero hindi pa rin sapat. Ginawa ko ng lahat, binigay ko yung best ko, lahat lahat. Pero bat ganon? Like promise, pero bakit hindi nagawa? What happened? Have you ever experienced those things? You know what? It is not an accident that you are here. You are watching our, or you are being with us, or you are with us in our Tuesday evening devotion. Because you know what? I want to encourage you that, you know what? Apostle Paul emphasizes that God is faithful to all of us. In fact, Paul informed Timothy that needs to entrust God. To entrust God's Word to become faithful and also being faithful to, eat, to teach others about Jesus Christ or who God really is. If you have your Bible with you, can you turn your Bible in 2 Timothy 2.13? And let's read. It says here, If we are faithless, he remain faithful, for he cannot deny himself. You know what? I want you to understand that God's faithfulness changes us. Pakikita po natin yun sa 2 Timothy, that if we are, that, that every one of us are faithless. And that's our human nature. This is who we are. We are easily entangled to the word of, of, of God. Especially when trouble comes. When promises na, na pinamis sa atin, hindi po na receive natin. This is our human nature. We are faithless. Disloyal to God. Lord, sige, promise ko, pag nagkaroon ako ng work, aatin ako ng worship service. Pagka na-receive ko itong promotion na to, Lord, magta-tights ako ng double. But sometimes, because human nature Natin, we are faithless. We are easily entangled to the Word of God. Diba? We always rely on ourselves. Lord, ako na itabi mo. Lord, ako nang bahala dito. Lord, ito yung gagawin ko. Lord, ang tagal mo naman eh. Ako na kaya magsimula. You're praying for something. You're praying for someone. You are praying for healing. Lord, but ang tagal niyang gumaling? Ako na kaya magpagaling sa kanya? 
Lord, but ang tagal nitong mangyari. Ako na kaya gumawa. We always rely on ourselves. And you know what? Faithless means we are welcoming fear. We are welcoming anxiety. We are welcoming anxiousness to govern ourselves. And this will cause so much trouble in our lives. And that's the sad part. Being faithless, being unfaithful, will lead us into trouble. And you know what? We are faithless like Peter. He denied Jesus Christ three times. When the people notice that Peter is kasama niya si Jesus, and then si Jesus, di ba, parang pinagkakanunu na siya doon, and then Peter denied Jesus three times. And sometimes we are like Peter. When people notice that we are Christian, hindi, hindi ako Christian, hindi ako umaaten dyan. Nawawala yung, yung et, na, 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 mas nakikita yung pagiging faithless natin. No one who comes to Jesus is in, in sincerity and truth will remain the same. You know, the faithfulness of God changes us from darkness to light in Jesus our Lord. We are better people because of God's faithfulness in mercy and transforming power. Because of what Jesus Christ did, diba? we became uh, um, transformed from darkness into light, from being faithless. Diba? Na parang kahit na sometimes Christian na tayo, malalim na tayo kay Lord, pero minsan because of the human nature that we have, diba? lumalabas pa rin. Pero you know, I want to encourage you that let's be faithful on little things. Because if you are faithful on little things, God will reward you. So ma- God will re- reward you ng mas malaki. You know, second point I want to share with all of you is that when we are faithless, this is the good news. God still faithful. Alright? When we are faithless, God still faithful. Can you type amen to our comment section? Diba? In 2 Timothy 2.13, yung binasa natin kanina, if we are faithless, He remains faithful for He cannot deny Himself. Yes, our God is eternally faithful. He who is, what He does, and what He says, regardless if we choose to put our faith in Him or not, God will never change. God still faithful. No matter what circumstances that we are facing, hindi ka na-promote, may mga nag-promise sa'yo na hindi yun ang bigay sa'yo, you know what? God still faithful. There is a promise with you na, na yung life mo mas magiging okay, mapopromote ka, pero bakit ang tagal? Pero you know what? When we hold on to God, we'll be, maririmind po tayo that God is faithful. He is faithful. And He will never change. You want to know why? Because He loves you. He wants you to know that God loves you so much. God is faithful even we are not. If He is in us, sa puso po natin, sa buhay natin, no matter what circumstances, no matter what situation, nahaharapin po natin, Si Lord faithful po. Everything will come to His perfect timing. Your promotion, restoration, healing, God will, will do that for all of you, for all of us. He will hold us safe until the end. He will restore us. He will bring us back. He will labor through abundant and wonderful ways to turn away from that which has temporarily derails us. He will bring us back at last to humility, to repentance and compassion of our evil, to a restoration so that we walk on Him, with Him by grace. Because of His grace, everything will fall into path. God is faithful. Therefore, tayo rin po Diba, sikapin natin, mas maging faithful tayo. 
sa pananampalataya natin kay Heso Kristo. As we end, I want to encourage you that no matter what happened to you right now, no matter what, where you are in right now, a feeling mo hindi mo na kaya, feeling mo dead end na to, you know what? Always look to Jesus. He is the perfecter of our faith. Amen? Why don't we bow our head and close our eyes? Lord, you know my heart. You know that my desire is to follow you, God. You even with it means I must suffer, God. Thank you that you are faithful to your promises and you will see me through to the end. Lord, I pray that you will continue, Lord, to help us to be faithful as well to you. Lord, yung, yung, yung faith namin, Lord God, we will anchor it, Lord God. Mas magiging matapat po kami sa iyo, God. Even, Lord, mahirap. It seems like we will suffer, God. Lord, we will do it for all of you. Because, Lord, we love you. And thank you for being faithful to all of us. Thank you for helping us, Lord God, to become who we are right now. Lord, I pray that you will continue to abound your grace to each and every one of us. Lord, there is a moment in our lives, sometimes, God, na nagiging faithless kami, nagiging unfaithful kami sa iyo, God. Lord, I pray that you will forgive us and you will help us to go back to the path that you want us to be. Lord, you are faithful. We declare that. And you are powerful to transform our lives from darkness into light. Lord, I pray that you will continue, Lord God, to be with us. Continue, Lord God, to manifest in us, Lord God, who you are. And I pray that you bring your Holy Spirit to each and every one of us. Maraming salamat po. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen.